Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Luke Ness Monster. Today, we do have some Star Wars The Black Series news to go over. So, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down and hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any Star Wars The Black Series news. And real quick, we are also doing a giveaway at 8,500 subs, which is right around the corner. We are literally like 300 subs away, which is incredible. So, thank you guys so much for all the reasons support. You do have to be subscribed to the channel, though, if you do want to be entered to win this clone Captain Rex. Like I said, we'll be giving it away at 8,500 subs, and basically how that'll work is once we hit that subscriber mark or release a giveaway video, all you have to do is comment on that giveaway video to enter. Anyway, on to the news. As a part of Hasbro's Bring Home the Galaxy reveals every Tuesday, uh, the Black Series did reveal this product right here, and it is actually a carbonized 2-pack, part of the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Now, this is very surprising because we did think that carbonized was gone forever. We did not think it was ever coming back. So this is a surprise. We weren't really expecting this, but honestly, I've seen a lot of hate going around for these figures, but I'm in love with these figures. I absolutely love how they came out, and uh, I'm, I'm really digging it. And like I said, this is actually an Amazon exclusive 2-pack, which is very interesting. We've never seen a carbonized 2-pack before, but we have seen Amazon 2-packs. For example, we got, this is this is like very similar to the Forlom and Zuckus 2-pack that the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back had with their Kenner cardback styles. And this is basically the exact same thing, but with carbonized rather than the Kenner cardbacks. And honestly, I'm perfectly fine with this. They took two pretty uh, good choices for carbonized figures. They got the Royal Guard and then the TIE Pilot. Both uh, turned out pretty well, I think. And they actually put them on carbonized uh, 40th card backs, which is really cool. We've never seen a carbonized figure on a card back before. So it's really nice to see that in Black Series form. The first figure that was in this was, like I said, the Royal Guard. And the Royal Guard looks incredible, definitely the best one out of the two. But it is sporting that nice, bright cherry red that the original Carbonized Sith Trooper had. And I'm so glad that they finally brought back this cherry red color because it looks incredible. And uh, by far, one of the best looking Carbonized figures was that original uh, uh, Sith Trooper. So it's really nice to see that cherry red come back. And I think it looks incredible on this figure as well. And then one thing I also love is I actually brought back uh, changing the packaging to match the figure. They actually changed this card back to be that metallic red card back rather than the standard like black uh, Kenner card back. It's a metallic red. It does have a holographic finish and it looks incredible. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this came out. And then the TIE Pilot is very similar as well. It is sporting that nice, uh, I guess, like, bluish-black color that the carbonized Darth Vader once sported. But it does look really good as well. Not as good as the Sith Trooper, in my opinion. But I do love, like I said, that holographic carbonized blue card back. Looks great. And I'm really glad they decided to do this. I think it looks great as well. And, um, gotta say... I actually love that this is an Amazon exclusive. For one, Amazon exclusives uh, tend to stay in stock for quite a while. Like, it, it's going to be pretty easy to get this this figure if you do want it, I do believe. And also, it's not going to peg warm shelves. I know all of the previous carbonized figures just stocked, like, target shelves forever. And uh, they ended up going, like, really, really clearanced just because no one was buying them. And so if no one's going to buy them, at least they're stuck at an Amazon warehouse rather than on store shelves. And... Uh, Normally that does happen, for example, the Forlom and Zuckus 2-pack, uh, kind of like peg-warmed, I guess you could say, even though it's an online thing, uh, but that one did go on clearance quite a bit, and I kind of expect the same thing to happen for this set as well, so if you are looking to get this set, it does go for pre-order tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, but uh, if you would still like to, uh, to get it, but you don't want to pay that full price for it, uh, try to wait, because like I said, I do think this will go on clearance. And there is no official uh, price release for this yet. There will probably be that as soon as possible, considering that it is going up for pre-order tomorrow. But if I had to guess, it'll be around $50 to $55. That's around the same price as the four Lam and Zuckus 2-pack. And uh, it's two Black Series figures, $25 each. That's around $50, bucks, 55 So, uh, yeah, that's what I expect to happen. We will have to wait and see. But, yeah, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm happy with this. If you don't like it, it's not your thing, then don't pick it up. Uh, it's not one of those things you have to go complaining on the internet about. It's not hurting anybody, and it's not taking up any uh, other, like, mainline wave spots. So I'm perfectly fine with this release. I think I'll probably end up picking it up because I absolutely love how that uh, Royal Guard looks. So overall, I, I think it came out great. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video.